folks, welcome back once again as we delve further into the ZX Spectrum's back catalogue. My name is Nick, and this one is called Executor on the uh, Spectrum 48K, published by Ace Software in 1987, and written by Christian F. Urquhart and Mike Smith. Also come out on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC. Let's define my keys. One to two players, but I'm the only player here. Use Cape Tape Control of Mark 7 Quintillion Craft to defeat aliens by driving through their mazes and blowing stuff up. Yes, it's a vertical uh, scroller shooter avoid type stuff. Now, I do have a poke for infinite uh, oh, well, immunity, but we won't use that at the moment. So let's see if I can guide my way through. Now, you might, if you seem to remember previous reviews, here we go, this can be tricky. If you remember previous reviews, you might see this is very similar to a game that come later called uh, Master Blaster. There we go, that was in 1990. It's because this has been developed by Cyberdyne Systems and, uh, well, Cyberdyne, I think, and, um, oh man, and, um, yes, um, uh, what was I going to say? Say something, Nick. Yes, Master Blaster was made by Cyberdyne Systems and this was developed by them as well. So it's very colourful. Not doing too badly here. Now, there's power ups you see flashing on the right. I'm not quite sure how to activate those. Um, I thought it was automatic. But anyway, we've got this weedly gun as I try and go through. So, collision with any of the obstacles is ultimate doom. I think Master Blaster, you had to collect fuel as well. Is that ultimate doom? I think it might be ultimate doom, folks. It's ultimate doom. Game over. Well, that's very pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, it looks quite colourful. 1987. Ace Software. It's doing okay. I like the sound of the thing. But I think it might frustrate me quite a bit. But not as difficult as some. So, at least I got somewhere up the screen. 1987. This music's quite nice. See, look, written by Cyberdyne. That name's all over Master Blaster, which come out as a cover tape a bit later on. Get ready. Right, come on, voice. Hold up, because I've got a bit of a sore throat. See if I can get a bit further. The movement is okay. It doesn't seem to be any colour clash. And I do like the design of the graphics and the enemies here. Yes, the the uh, the, the uh, cassette box says we're fighting the Zidar uh, uh, alien race from Zinx. If you've played this on the Commodore 64 or the Amstrad CPC, then let me know. I'd like to hear from you as we bundle through at top speed. Well, medium speed, well, half speed, well, maybe A speed. Get ready, 48k. If you had this one, then of course let me know on any system. Have you completed it? Um, I don't think I, I, I would have completed it to be uh, fair. Uh, player one score is on the top right. If there was a player two, they'd be in the bottom left. And you take turns to uh, play the game. Right, come on, Nick, let's go. Get ready. Uh, right, boom, boom, boom. I haven't done any of the power ups yet. When are they? When are they going to get involved? I don't know. Whoops. Is that it? I think that's it. I got a bit further in. Right, so we can see a bit further of the game. Uh, these reviews aren't about expert gameplay. They're about seeing how you would have got on your first and second go. And is it worth actually going forward? But well, we'll put a poke on now for immunity, I think. Just see a little bit further. See if we can see any end of level bosses. Boo. Nice tune. Right, let's get that poke in. Copyright 1987. Soft Tech International. One, two players. Define your control. Right, get ready for combat. That looks a bit like the Daily Thompson colours there. Right, so, let's just go a bit further forward. Uh, I got a bit further each time in my first couple of goes, so I think it's um, the difficulty level is, isn't bad, but let's accelerate it to see how I would have been, how good I would have been maybe in about uh, a week later. And try and get some of those upgrades, because I think they're going to make the game quite a lot easier. Uh, your main difficulty is avoiding the uh, aliens, not necessarily destroying them, but uh, and uh, at the same time avoiding the scenery, because it is a bit tight through here. It certainly is. I would have got killed there. But attention to detail there, really cool graphics. Uh, scrolling is smooth too. I like it. I like the thing. I would have played this uh, quite a bit. A uh, big thank you to the subscribers. If you watch this far into the video, please consider subscribing. If you're if you're still here, it might be a case that you like this game of stupid commentary and duff gameplay. And we do we tend to do about a live stream once a week as well. If you want to drop in to that, hurrah! Right, kaboom, kaboom, kasplat, kaboom, as we uh, say. The eighties were a great uh, time for gaming. My favourite era was probably the early eighties. This is getting into the later 80s, which is still pretty cool uh, too. Uh, and then uh, about, about a year or so, the 16-bit the started coming in and their games were blowing people away. So look, the power, I need a bit of a tip now. The, I'm holding down fire button. Uh, how do I slip the power up? Let's pick some numbers. It seems like I should have a missile or something. Yes, um, I'm doing something a little bit wrong, but as I say, first or second go. 
maybe that'll spring to life or maybe because I've got a poke on it won't let me do it. So, so look at the icon on the side, it seems to be that you could do triple fire or something, uh, but I'm still left with this weedy gun. At the moment there'll probably be people screaming at the screen. Oh, who's this fella? Right, okay. I think we need to take out those green bits on the wings, first of all. Red, I think so. A bit like um, Super Breakout, I guess. They're not attacking us with any uh, great uh, f uh, uh, venom at the moment. Maybe they'll leap into action at some point. So it's a magenta and green and yellow ship. It's quite a good baddie. It's not moving around too much either. This looks like easy prey for me, even with my weedy gun. If you have got a weedy gun, then comment below. I like the uh, the, the, the like the stars going by in the uh, the background. Gives us a bit of a sense of hyperspace. Yes, uh, maybe I do have to take the rest of that green stuff out. I don't know what that is, cabbages or lettuce, or maybe it's just algae. Let's take those out then, and that should do it, I think. Oops, what's he do? Oh, look, now he's going into action. He knows he knows there's a battle on. He's going to serious, serious mode. Where's my triple gun? I want my triple gun. Well, I'll have to do this the hard way. There we go, it's kaboom. Hope he escaped there. I'm sorry about that. Right, get ready for combat. Stage two. Come on, Nick, please pick up some power up somehow. It says here, right, it says here if you blow up the. Oh, there we go, that's what we wanted. Good. Isn't that better? Maybe I was blowing them up before. Looks like we've got um, some space mines to get around. Get around those space mines. I can fit between there. Good. Oh, that's a much better gun. So now the game's coming to life. Suddenly, it's without a poke on, it's suddenly doable, although I have got a poke on, admittedly. This looks pretty tricky to get through here. Very tight spacing. Um. Mirrors of, uh, I think I'm going to die a few times there. Mirrors of collision with the obstacles which are there. So, you know, in summary, then it is worth, although it's pretty tricky, first of all, and it's quite tight, you need to be precise, it does look like it's worth persevering with this game. Uh, do check out the review of Master Blaster. Uh, similar uh, maps, but different enough uh, from each other. Not bad, it's not going uh, too fast, so you would keep up with it. So yeah, I would have gone back to it every now and again. Uh, kids' imagination would uh, add extra dimensions to an extra storyline that weren't necessarily in the uh, cassette tape. And it's a good title as well, beginning with the letter X. Executor. Not bad. There's a, there's a lot to uh, like here. A well-polished game, which I would recommend. But as I say, uh, it's going to take you a few goes. You're not going to be good at it straight away unless you're super brilliant. Uh, you're going to get blown up a lot as you try and manoeuvre around this tight stuff. So it's one for tacticians, it's one for super people. And I guess if you remember, which I've never been that good at, if you remember the waves of the aliens, because they're not going to change each time, and where to position your ship, you're probably going to do a lot better. Oh, so we're down to a, a double weapon here. Yeah, so if you practice and practice, uh, it'd be good. Your friend would come around and be rubbish. You get, you uh, get some uh, uh, happiness from there. There's another alien. Good, different graphic this time, but the same sort of principle. Uh, it's a green and a cyan alien. So yeah, we it been well getting to the aliens to see uh, what one uh, come uh, next. I might take I might take the uh, the cheat off after this. We we know how this game plays. Here we go. Right. He's not going to last much longer as he flashes red, yellow, magenta, all the colours that the Spectrum has to offer, and he's kaboomed again, just like he's compadre from before. Get ready for combat. I will do. I will get ready for combat. I might get ready for combat trousers as well. Oh, right. Boom. So, yeah, another another similar um, map. Don't look like it's offering a great deal more. So it's all about seeing the um, what different alien, what different colour they are at the start. I think the graphics are slightly different. Oh, look at that. That's the best weapon so far. Yeah, suck it to me, big nose, as all top spacefarers say. Well, that, that's, that's a great weapon, that one. This is this is getting super cool now. Not quite sure how I activated that. It seemed to be automatic, but before it didn't happen. So look at the full stops coming at me. Um, every time they collide, I would have died and lost all my weapons, no doubt. Bam, bam, bam. Right, going through here. Not too bad. I'm, I'm liking the thing. I'm liking the thing. Splat. Uh, thank you to the members as well. Always give you a, a, a shout out for keeping the channel running as we try and review everything ever. Um, it's all here primarily to beat stress. If you're feeling it a little bit, then hopefully I'm doing something for you. We have friendly chats. Uh, go out of my way to make it a friendly uh, community uh, there because there's, there's a few odd people dotted about, you know. Um, yeah, so if you want to catch a live stream at any point, be my guest where we do roughly about two hours of stress busting fun. You're not on your own. Uh, people with similar, gone through similar stuff. We come together and it gives you a little bit of perspective. See, look at me going all deep on the ZX Spectrum 8 bit 
fucking game. Right, buff, 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 buff it. Buff it. Right, now, that look like, look like traffic cars on the left and right, don't they, really? Smack a boom. It's, it's amazing how many of these games there are. I don't think I'll ever completely review all of them, but I'll give it a good old attempt. At the time of recording, I think we're nearing up to a thousand, uh, slowly but surely. Right, what colour is this fella? This colour, this fella is yellow and cyan. Right, he's a sitting duck, really, though, with the uh, the poke on it. I think I was, I was supposed to turn the poke off, wasn't I? I think that's what he said, but I, have, I haven't done it for some reason. Well, I'll, I'll do it in the next level, maybe. Not quite sure how many levels this has got, but it seems seems to be enough uh, to offer a bit of a challenge. Well, a lot of a challenge, really. So there's, there's a lot of content there. Right now, I just need to do those few bits. I'm sure I'm getting those dead on. Maybe you've got to be slightly slightly off off canter. Come on, come on, boom, boom, boom. Is that gonna do it? Please do it. Yes. Right now he's going into his silly mad phase, which I call the death row phrase. Uh, maybe he's disco dancing. He's just going around in a tight circle. It's been coded well, this. I do like the layout of the thing. It's nice. It's a nice game. Uh, so it's a Mark 7 Quintillion Craft, I've been told. Not a Mark 6, not a Mark 5, not a Mark 8. Um, it's just, it's Mark 7. Hmm. Kaboom! Off we go again. Right. I might have turned the poke off now, I'm not quite sure. Right, we'll soon see if I blow up. Oh, going past these blue blobby things. Blobby, Mr. Oh, dear, look, look at that. I, I'm not so invincible now. The poke is off. The poke is off. Diddy, diddy, diddy. I've died again. Oh, look, look, the lives are going down very quickly now. So, yeah, with my own skills then, well, with my superpowers turned off, I don't seem to be very good. See how the, the, the ship like, moves slightly left to right as you as you do it, as you, as you fly around? It gives you a bit of sense of uh, inertia, a bit of a flight. That's just nice. We're going to another minefield here, so let's get above those boys. Now, we need to weave through the minefield. We know this. Not the best way to go. Oh, yeah, this looks tricky going. And I got run over. The aliens can kamikaze into you, which doesn't make things easy. Uh, they fire at you as well. Oh, I'm straight into a full stop and dead. I've got one life left, haven't I? One life left. That's what it says on the top right, anyway. Next to my little ship. And I've kaboomed again. So, you know... Overall, nice graphics, nice gameplay, quite difficult, but uh, not uh, impossible uh, once you get used to the thing. Very similar to Master Blaster, which come later, which is more of the same, so if you like this, you'll like that one as well. Yeah, a well put together game, a good bit of Spectrum history, and nice music too. So I hope you liked having a look at that one, a vertical scroller shooter called Executor on the Spectrum 48K, published by Ace Software in 1987. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. Always love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Good.